Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading this week, Sagittarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, honey, because that is how I keep up with you, Sagittarius, is through the comments. Also, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me, to support me in that way. But remember, Sagittarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, honey. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe my tarot cards, my tarot horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought for the day, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards, darling. So all that being said, Sagittarius, let's just get into your reading, shall we? I want to see where it is you guys are currently at. How are my Sagittarius feeling at this time? Where are they at in their journey at this point in time? Ten of Water, Ten of Cups. This is a really good card to have uh, as your general energy, Sagittarius. The Ten of Cups or the Ten of Waters, because Cups is water energy, uh, is, you know, let's read off this card. Uh, this card's... <clears throat> oh, <coughs> ah. Honey, maybe this card doesn't want to be read. Um, this card says, Aries, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met and trustworthy relationships. So I feel like right now you're feeling pretty good in like your close circle of people, Sagittarius. You feel pretty good right now. I feel like, you know, if this Ten of Cups is coming forward to you, especially remembering this is the highlight or the horoscope for the week, I feel like this is just a time of where you are going to start becoming closer with people in your life, people that you love right you're going to really see the connections the relationships that you have in your life that are worth investing more energy into um i just get a get a sense sagittarius where you're just experiencing deeper appreciation deeper loves for the people that you have in your life and you know with that it feels like you're answering to a little bit more vulnerability right you know i'm i'm interested in hearing if you're open to it of course sagittarius right of uh hearing about how you guys are getting closer right because i definitely do see something coming in even this week that you're going to be experiencing that just gives you a greater sense of um just appreciation for where you're currently at with uh your personal life so let's see we have the chariot in the reverse for you we have the Two of Wands coming in. Okay, Sanji. So we have the Eight of Wands as well, stepping forward to you. Aries got that card as well. And then the Knight of Cups coming in for you in the upright. This is interesting, Sagittarius, because well, it's still good reading. I mean, good. Yeah, it's a good reading still, but it's just interesting. It's almost like your t cups start getting filled as the ten of water right your cups start getting filled but it's through the chariot it's through in the response of the chariot being in the reverse so what does this mean right the chariot and the upright normally sagittarius is a card of fast forward movement i always call it like the uber service from the divine right where they're trying to help you along further down your path but it's almost like with things being slowed down for you, putting down things to a halt, right? When you think of the inverted, it's quite literally the opposite meaning of it. So when the chariot's far going fiery forward, right? It's instead, you're like the horses, really. You're <laughs> Let me calm down. Uh, it's instead like your feet being buried into the ground. I just feel like slower movement. We'll see further as we go, as we progress with these cards, Sagittarius, but it does feel like it's a good thing for some of you guys to be slowing down Sagittarius in some way. Two of Wands. Perhaps you're slowing down because you're starting to see that what's important in your life. You're starting to think about how you want your future to be, how you want your future to shape up. It does show to me with this Two of Wands that you guys are thinking about the future Sagittarius. And perhaps that's why you're getting this greater sense of appreciation for your Ten of Cups, the people in your life. You know, and keep in mind, I keep on talking about the Ten of Cups talking, you know, with people. People because it does the card itself really talks about family right and we get to choose our family right it doesn't have to always just be by blood 
Uh, but also the cups can represent um, just your personal accomplishments as well. Um, so whatever this your cups look like to you, you know your cup, what your 10 cups are filled with, darling. I don't, right? My cups are filled with something completely different compared to your cups. So continuing on, we have the Eight of Wands coming in here. Now this is an interesting energy because now I'm seeing a little bit more effort even being put. Now I don't know if this is you, Sagittarius, or this is someone else in your life that's putting effort into reaching out to you more. But I do see some type of exchange of energy, an effort to exchange energy, trying things out. Um, I do see as if like someone's reaching, trying to put more of an effort to communicate with you, Sagittarius, to even offer you some type of their cup to you, right? With the Knight of Cups. So what does this cup look like to you, right? Because the Knight of Cups comes in after the fact of this Eight of Wands. So something is being like, I do just get the sense of like something being offered to you, whether it's just like an offer of vulnerability, right? Or an offer of an opportunity, offer of love. I just, it's, it's, it's all based off of you taking a moment of just slowing down rather than always just being go, go, go. And I know for my Sagittarius is it's extremely hard for you guys to take a moment to just breathe, right? Sagittarius are notoriously known for always being on the go, which is, isn't a bad thing. Of course, I'm not trying to make y'all feel bad, darling, but yeah. So let's go a little bit deeper with this, shall we, Saji? We have the Queen of Swords coming in here under your chariot in the reverse. This makes a lot of sense. I can't wait to get into this, actually. We have the Star card coming in for you as well. It makes sense with that Two of Wands as well. It's under your Two of Wands. We have the Emperor card in the reverse. Hmm. And then we have the Four of Cups coming in here. And this is under your Knight of Cups. All right, Sagittarius, this is your your storyline is just getting more and more interesting. Um, so we have this Queen of Swords stepping forward to you. And keeping in mind, this is under your, knight of, your chariot, rather, inverted. So you slowing down is you putting up boundaries, right? Maybe just even like your own personal boundaries where it's just like uh, you're only looking at your phone for work until X time. And then afterwards, you're no longer looking at your work email. You're no longer looking at your work phone. Uh, for other people, it just feels like you're managing your time better. You're prioritizing your time almost to the right people. And I feel like to the right things and people. And I feel like that's what uh, gives you that payoff, right? Because the star card. Now, this is such a beautiful setup as well, because the star card is under your two of wands. Remember, Aries. So both of these cards have a common theme of distance right? So with this common theme of distance, you are, again, still just thinking about the long term. It does feel like Sagittarius's, uh, Sagittarius's, you Sagittarius's, your priorities are starting to shift. Um, with this Emperor card in the reverse, and this Eight of Wands being under your Eight of Wands, um, this is interesting. This is letting me know, mm -mm, I actually kind of want to pull another card for this, the Magician card in the upright. So if someone wants to, like, deepen things with you Sagittarius maybe this is you maybe you don't know how to go about it. someone wants to let me go back someone wants to deepen things Sagittarius but they don't know how they don't know how to bring this forward they don't know like just the idea of like doing more intimate things you know getting to know one another better what have you whatever the storyline is they want to but they just don't know how right there's this craving for it but and so with the Four of Cups being under the Knight of Cups, this seems to be the problem here. So there is this desire, Sagittarius, of like reaching out, of connecting uh, with somebody, whether it's you or whether it's the person around you in your circle, that's around you in your circle rather. Um, but it's because they don't know how to reach out to you or just because they're in their head, right? Because when you have the emperor in the reverse, it shows to me someone that's lacking confidence, um, someone that isn't sure of the actions that they take. And especially since this is under your eight of wands, um, definitely like whenever, whatever wands you pick up and those wands being attempts at whatever, um, it's like your hands are extremely shaky, right? And so then when you have this Four of Cups under your Knight of Cups, you're completely like, this is quite literally, you think about it like this, this Knight trying to come in to offer this cup, right? And it continues into the frame for this one, where this is the Knight essentially offering the cup, but you're not seeing it. Someone's not seeing it. 
right? It's interesting. That's why I say this is just interesting, uh, Sagittarius, for this dynamic. So how is this going to go down for Sagittarius this week? How is this going to go down? Let's see. Ooh, darling. So you have the emperor coming up in the upright. So this is in between your emperor or your chariot, two of wands, star, and queen of swords. So the action is eventually taken, right? And since I do feel like this is more so on your section, you end up taking further action in terms of this connection. Magician card in the upright. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. There is this, this I do just, this is a beautiful reading uh Sagittarius just because of the arcana that keep following you it's like the storyline is resolving itself and I love this you guys are on such a beautiful track towards just like even more healing experiences with the relationships in your life and then you have the queen of swords in the upright as well yeah, I mean, truly Sagittarius, this is like turning out to be such a lovely storyline for you guys, right? This is just through action, like someone ends up taking action. I am going to be honest, I do see that it's you, Sagittarius, that takes action. Um, Queen of Swords sets the example, really, um, yeah, I, this is just turns out to be very beautiful, but it's all through action and being pretty sure of yourself, right? You're not feeling self-conscious because that's anything... Self-conscious is the last emotion that Queen of Swords experiences, right? Or the Emperor, or the Magician. All of them are very alpha energies, um, very much so, very extremely forward energies. So, let's see here. Let's pull a couple more. Ten of Pentacles with the uh, Nine of Wands. Both of these cards being in the reverse for you. So this is what the been, this has been the issue, right? There has been this sense of anxiety uh, when it comes to how it's almost like some side and maybe both sides of the party. Uh, I'm going to go to Aries, Sagittarius. Don't know where you, the other one stands with one another, and I feel like that's kind of like the issue. It's just like. Perhaps both parties want to become closer, but neither party knows how, and neither party knows how the other one truly feels, or they feel like they don't know how the other one feels, and so they're afraid of taking further action. So let's get one final card. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is kind of one of those situations you guys just need to just do it, Sagittarius. There's a person that you've had on your mind that you've been wanting to connect to, get closer with. Just do it, right? Just do it. I don't know. Save the excuses. Save the reasons. You don't have to know it. You don't have to be perfect at trying to connect with someone, right? This is very much so just like an energy of just do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it can be clumsy. It's probably probably better that it's clumsy. Sagittarius, right? So now I want to get some extra cards for you, Sagittarius. I want to just see like some of the good things coming towards you, right? What are some of the good things coming to my Sagittarius this week? Definitely let me know about that situation, Sagittarius. I wanna I wanna I wanna follow up, darling. How does this all pan out, right? I'm intimately involved in your situation now, apparently. Um, yeah, let's see what good things are coming from my Sagis. Your quick three pull. Four pull, I guess. <sighs> so we have Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords in the reverse with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So Queen of Pentacles, I really like the, this because this is a very self-sufficient energy, very much so investing in your, in your self-care, Sagittarius, and I'm just really happy to see this for you because it's just showing to me, really affirming the sense of you slowing down and smelling the flowers, essentially. Uh, Sagittarius. Seven of Swords, you still are dealing with a pretty chaotic workload. There's still some stuff in your mind that you are going crazy about. It's like you're trying to relax, you're laying on this hammock, you're trying to get some sleep, but even while you're just asleep in like the no like relaxed state or like in like in vacation or something, you're still stressing about things. You're still worrying about like an email that you need to write or what have you. It does feel like no matter your environment, your mind is still remaining busy. Um, Page of Swords in the reverse. Uh, this coming, I feel like it's paired with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse for you. I do kind of feel like with this, this is it's kind of a side message, but it's like there's something that you've been wanting to have a hard conversation about, Sagittarius, to, I dare I say, to like lessen your workload or to reduce some of the busyness that you have in your life. You've been wanting, you, you want to speak up on something 
um, and to lessen your load, but you're kind of afraid to do so. I feel like these two cards are coming in as an affirmation, Sagittarius, to uh, speak your truth, because I feel like it's going to be worth it for you if you speak your truth. I feel like a lot of y'all's issues of why you're choosing to be, uh, be indecisive about this is because you don't want to upset, any, you don't want to start rock the boat, perhaps, or what have you, but... I feel like you'd be extremely happy with the result if you were to just speak up on the thing that you've been biting your tongue on. With that page of swords in the verse, I straight up just see this as you biting your tongue on something. So Sagittarius, now let's get into y'all's love and relationships. Uh, relationship this week, right? But keep in mind, more than just romantic for your relationship, Sagittarius. We have more than that. We have family, friends, platonic you know all those kinds of relationships work relationships honey you know let's see what's going on there we have the eight of pentacles the eight of earth coming in for you this card says skilled work is rewarded learning all that there is to know about a subject and going back to school so this is a, again i phones in on a message is just learning more intimately about somebody uh, maybe you're learning how someone's true feelings are, right? Or understanding someone, someone's emotions further, Sagittarius. I am getting that. Uh, I do feel like that's what the case is because I'm seeing like a fog being lifted right now. So I do feel like that's the case. The tower card coming in. Ooh, yes. This is where you want to see it. With the page of coins coming in here. Yeah all about this new communication in the fool fresh start yes 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 all right sagittarius so straight up this is such a beautiful setup that you want to see here it does feel like you're starting fresh with a situation and just being like you know what um you're just learning about someone like even though it's in like a deeper way it does feel like your approach with each other is going to be different it does feel like you guys are going to start communicating differently because of this page of pentacles referring to communication tower card references like out with the old in with the new with the fool card stepping in that's the fool is the representation of a new journey that's why you see the number zero right um so it's interesting how this is sagittarius i love this for you guys definitely a lot of growth for your personal life uh this week sagittarius and a lot of personal growth for your per personal life which is good it's a good thing but uh yeah now let's get into my sagittarius's financial and wealth situation their career this week what is going on with y'all's financial and work situation sagittarius let's see we have the page of cups page of water opening up to new opportunities shall we say uh this card says a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase and heightened psychic abilities notice how you have a person associated with this um when I was kind of getting this sense that you're like slowing down your life a little bit because of like a cups connection, right? Because of a personal connection. Um, and so for that to come in, is just interesting, right? So let's get a little bit more clarification on this. What does this mean? Five of wands coming in, 10 of cups in the reverse, six of wands coming in. So yeah, I do kind of, I'm gonna be honest here, uh, Sagittarius, this is giving me very much so this sense of, um, someone's like personal life struggling because of their financial situation because of their work situation and you know even if we're going to treat this separately from your general portion right because it could be speaking of a completely different dynamic for you this is showing to me that like whatever friction that you've been having with your personal life whatever conflict that you've been having with your personal life because of your finances it's definitely going to start looking up soon right because this is like ugh, right but the six of wands comes in to overlap this energy with and this is the card of just victory uh sagittarius so really good for that whatever your personal financial situation is it's improving um because it just starts uh your per it starts affecting your personal life in a good way a positive way a beautiful way so yeah sagittarius that is the cards that i have for you for this weekly tarot reading if you enjoyed this reading be sure to check out the comments below to let me know which cards resonated give this video a like and subscribe if you would like to book a personal reading with me sagittarius my website is down below simplyvelka.com by all my social medias twitter instagram facebook darling it is all just simply velka right i hope i can connect with you though sometime in the near future sagittarius i love you so much